Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. I wanted to take a few minutes today <clears throat> to record a video that shows how we put together a, a resolved boundary line work drawing for <clears throat> some some forced service forced surveys that we're doing. So these surveys are to establish the boundaries between federal land and, and private land. We've got a couple couple of these big projects going. And I wanted to do this because these these projects are a little bit different than our typical surveys, especially down here in the Central Valley. I'm going to do a, a separate whiteboard video where I go through some of the like the three basic types of situations we get in when we're trying to resolve these lines. And I'll talk a little bit more about this, but these surveys are pretty different from our from our typical survey one of uh, aside from the fact that they're controlled by the public land survey system uh, we also find way more monuments up here in the mountains actually than we find down on the valley floor so the the big problem we have down in, in the valley floor in urban areas is just a, a basic lack of monuments mostly because we don't enforce monument preservation very well uh, and so we're we've been pleasantly surprised to find I would say 80 to 90 percent of the monuments uh, on these forced uh, surveys, which is which is excellent, which is awesome. So I wanted to to do a, at least one or two uh, short videos that just walk my people through how we're gonna put these resolved line work drawings together, and they'll they'll ultimately go into our uh, our there'll be a base drawing that we use in our record of survey maps. So before I dive in here, I I will just let you know up front, I'm, I was a little nervous about recording this video and sharing it online because every time I do that, I get a couple wise guys that like to tell me how I'm an idiot and I don't know how to do a boundary survey. Uh, so I would just say right here at the top, um, you haven't done the records research for this. You haven't been on the ground to evaluate evidence like I have. So um, if you're a wise guy, try and control yourself. I don't need your hate mail. <laughs> Uh, that's a very small minority of the people that that watch my stuff on YouTube, but it seems like every time I do a video on a on a boundary resolution, I got I got at least one guy that wants to tell me I'm an idiot. So please don't tell me I'm an idiot. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let me explain what I have in my drawing here. So I have two X refs. In basically a blank drawing, I've got our boundary search drawing. So there, there were some maps. Uh, not all of this is maps. Some of this were, were coming in. Nobody's been in since the GLO. And I'll, I'll do some separate videos on that. But I've got a section here that hasn't been surveyed since the GLO came in. And I've got a section here that hasn't been surveyed since the GLO came in. And I think we've got a couple other spots here. We're not quite done with those field surveys yet. But most of the rest of this was surveyed in the 70s or 80s. Uh, under contract for the Forest Service, and so we have those maps placed fairly well. And I, I have our points drawing, so this is our uh, survey control and our, our boundary for this uh, job. I don't know, we've got somewhere between 50 and, 100, uh, 50 and 100 monuments. This is a pretty big job. And that's basically it. That's all that's in here. And so we're going to go ahead, and those are XREFs, so I can turn them off and on. And what I've done is I've just grayed out the layers in my layer manager, I've just grayed out the layers for the, the boundary search drawing because I want those to kind of fall to the back a little bit. Okay, so the other important thing is I have the uh, the job GIS up here, uh, and and it's uh, my folks did a great job cleaning this up. So you can see our found monuments here are these green points, green dots, and then these purple lines are the lines that we've actually been tasked to survey. And uh, I've got these footprints for our records of survey. So that we're, we're just going to work on the line work for this first record of survey here. And these, these rec rectangles for the records of survey are just logically, as, as logically as we can, uh, organized by basically groups of logical groups of sections. So we're working on this one here. This is the uh, first ROS, ROS1 area. And so we're going to try relatively quickly to get this line work put together. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now. Now, I, I will warn you um, that we aren't going to draw all these lines. And the reason why is we found some double monumentation out here. And so the BLM has to come in and do a dependent resurvey on some of this. So we can't, 
we can't include these two lines here because there's double monuments here, and I can't include these two lines because there's double monuments here, and and they and like they're somewhere between 30 and 50 feet apart, so it's a pretty significant difference. But we can do this kind of crosshair plus right here, and then all the way over up to here, and, and this line here, and then uh, these are, uh, uh, this hasn't been surveyed since the GLO went in, but I found some private timber company mons here, and we went ahead and broke this section down, and these fit well, so we can, we'll, we'll probably draw these lines in. All right, so let's, let's do that. Now, on almost everything I have here, I have uh, found monuments, so it's going to be relatively easy, this first, this first part. Uh, we are going to just come in and go mon to mon. Now, let's go ahead and um, let's get our layer set up here. So I'm going to go on the V boundary property line fee layer. And we are just going to start drawing some poly lines here. And we're going to go from the actual point. So you can see this is this is where the record map would put the corner. This is where I found the monument. That's 506. And so we're going to go point to point. All right, so that line we just drew, that magenta line, is that would be this line right here. So we should be able to run this line north and the and the line south. Now I don't have a line here in my search drawing to 505. And I think that's because we found a Forest Service monument or a GLO monument at 505, but there was no, there was actually no filed survey. But I'm going to hold that monument. That's why there's no line there, if I remember correctly. And then we can run this line north. You got to be careful where you're snapping here. We want to go from the point of the found monument to the point, mon to mon. Now remember, we can't draw this line because it's doubled, but we can come over here. We've got a single monument over here, so we can draw that in the other direction. All right, so now we have we have this cross in right here, this line here, and this line here. And what we want to do now is we're going to run up here. We're going to see if we can get up here. This part, this little piece here, we're going to do up in this record survey for section four. You can see that I put that in area three. So let's get the rest of those lines in. And it it really doesn't matter the order you draw these in, guys, as long as you're as long as you're holding the points. So we're going to come up here to 618. Then we're going to go over to the Timber Company monuments that I found, 610, and then we come up to 611, and we come back over to 614, then we go over to 651, and we go up to 621. Now, again, we don't have any lines in our search drawing here. There's no gray lines because this, this has never been surveyed. A, uh, on a filed survey. I believe it was surveyed by the timber, com timber company. They just didn't file their map. <clears throat> okay, so those those are the fee lines that we need in this first record survey. But we need some supporting lines. So as a, for example, um, I, I broke this section down, and so we need to come in here and put some lines on the tie line layer. And uh, we'd like to show some ties to our other our other sections as well. So uh, we will come back and do that uh, here in another video.